At the Lethbridge Research Center in Lethbridge, Alberta, there are research fields that have been producing wheat for over a hundred years. And the soil of those fields has been studied for that same time. Dr. Henry Jansen is reading the history of those fields in their chemistry. And the past is revealing the way forward to managing soil for the future. Our plots are quite unique in that they were begun right after the land was originally broken from prairie. So we have the unfolding story of this land dating back almost to the time when we first started cultivating these lands for agricultural production. They took very, very careful notes. So I can pull out the diary from 1913 and I can tell you how many horses they used for plowing the land, how much twine they used to fashion the stooks of the grain. I can tell you the yields, all of these things year by year by year, which helps us to put together this long unfolding story over time. And more than that, they took soil samples. And so we today can go back into our soil archives and we can analyze soils from 1910 and from the 1920s all the way into our present time. Soil chemistry really looks at the arrangement and the amounts and the dynamics or transformations of chemical elements in the soil. One example is to follow soil carbon, which is an indicator of soil humus. Humus is the material in soil that gives it its darkening hue. It is material that is very closely linked to the fertility of the soil, the productivity of the soil. In the early years after initial cultivation, they noticed very quickly that soil carbon was diminishing. And they worried, well, what happens if it continues to decline? Well, over the years, through our long-term experiments, we've been able to see, well, the loss was very significant early, but it abated over time. And now we're trying to ask the question, can we do something in our lands to restore some of the soil carbon that was lost? The work of Dr. Jensen and his colleagues in Lethbridge is frequently published to inform the grains and oilseed industry on soil management. The grains and oilseed industry in the Prairie Provinces is an economic driver for the whole of the agricultural sector in Canada. For example, we exported $18.1 billion worth of grains and oilseeds to the world in 2014. Canada is among the top producers of wheat in the world, and we're number one in canola production. Soil research and good soil management are literally at the base of that success. To learn more, check out our other videos on soil science in Canada.